Hey everyone. Um, there's um, a message that I've really been needing to bring through and it keeps coming up over and over again. And not just me, but other intuitives and energy readers out there. Um, I've heard them saying um, similar things that I've been getting. And that has to do with this big shift or event that everyone keeps talking about. And first thing that they want you to know is that this event isn't like just one thing. There's been many events over, you know, time. This is just one that has a huge impact, huge impact. And also 2018 was meant to be a year of healing, purging and healing so we can release as much as we possibly can before the shift into 5D. And the shift is happening already. But what you need to be aware of is that th we're still in 2018 according to the stars. And I'm not huge, um, I don't know a ton about astrology, that isn't really my um, area of expertise. But I do know, you know, the basics. And so for us in the United States, we see the New Year, New Year as beginning on January 1st. And what they, we're seeing is 2018 is still occurring. And then we're seeing the New Year after this eclipse at the end of the month. This is March 2019. And this month is also crazy because of Mercury in retrograde. So this is the last month of purging which it all makes sense if you look at it. And so it is so, so important that we are trying to purge. We are, I don't want to say trying, but we are making a conscious effort to notice where our um, darker energy is in our actions inside of our bodies and taking the effort to meditate or do whatever process that you prefer to use to release because okay so people who aren't heavy on their ascension path people who are still very much in the matrix things after this eclipse and everything after everything shifts into 5D. Guy is going 5D. The earth is going into 5D. Whether anybody likes it or not, that is what is happening. So you can either shift with her or without her. So those who are choosing to remain um, asleep, if you want to put it that way, those people will just continue to see things as normal, I guess you could say. But the light workers and those on their ascension journey are going to find out fast that in 5D, Manifestation isn't like it was in 3D, where you put your desire out there and you maintain that high vibration. Um, and it takes some time for that manifestation to come to um, full blown manifestation, basically. It takes some time. There's a process for it to unfold. Where, whereas in 5D, I don't want to say it's instant, but it's seemingly instant manifestation. It's very quickly. So here's why purging and getting rid of your those old programs that don't serve your highest good is so important because when you shift into 5D, if your thoughts are in a negative space, you will instantly manifest something that matches that negative vibration. It is so important that we do the work and grow because when we shift through, when we don't do that work, it can it can affect you in a negative way. And I'm not saying this to scare anyone. Don't take this as like a fear thing. Just as a make sure you're meditating kind of thing. Make sure you're doing what you got to do. And I'm I'm not going to say I'm like that person who meditates every single day. Like I love to say that I was and I'm not perfect either. But it's so important to focus on your growth and on getting rid of things that don't serve you. Those thoughts that don't serve you, those actions, whatever it is, those unhealthy eating habits, like whatever it is. Anything that doesn't serve you, you want to make, or that would not keep your vibration high, 
will bring your vibration down. We have to get rid of those things. We really do. Because 5D is a totally different ball game. When they say, like, in Revelation, uh, you know, when the people go to heaven, the people go to earth, that's the 3D, the 5D. Or when the Mayans predicted in 2012 that the world was going to, the world wasn't going to end in the Bible. The world wasn't going to end with the Mayans predicting that. The world was going to shift to 5D. And if you can raise your vibration, you can have that heaven on earth because you can manifest things effortlessly because you can maintain this amazing love vibration that brings everything that you could ever want and desire times 10 into your life. That's what we want. That's what we want to hold the light for others so they can come in and, and spread that message for other people. We're not here to convert people either. We're here to hold the light and we're here to um, plant seeds. This isn't, spirituality isn't a religion, although you can see sometimes in the spiritual community, they try to make it that way through judgment, like, like the whole veganism thing. <laughs> like, it's great if you're vegan. Yes, that can raise your vibration. Yes, it's great to not put low vibrational suffering animals into your body. I get that. But when you shame and guilt people into doing something, that is not okay. That is what religion does. So if you're saying you're not religious and you're preaching all these things, we have to let go of that judgment too, which is a huge thing that is affecting people in the spiritual community. It's a program that a lot of people on the ascension journey aren't, um, they're still kind of holding on to. So that's just an example. I mean, there's a bunch of different examples. But my point that I wanted to make and I really wanted to get across was that we have to be conscious. We have to be conscious of how we're perceiving people, if we're judging people, how we're speaking to ourselves. Are we good to ourselves? Or if we mess up, are we harsh on ourselves? Or if we are vibrating low and we're having a bad day, are we hard on ourselves? Do we build that momentum? Or do you put your foot in the door and stop the door and don't stop it before it gains momentum? Like Abraham Hicks says, when the car's at the top of the hill and you bump it with your hip and it starts to roll, you could step in front of it real quick and stop the car from rolling down this huge hill, right? Or you could just, um, you could let the car go and wait to stop it at the end of the hill. Then what happens? It rolls you over because there's so much momentum behind it. It's like not letting a good day turn into, or a bad day turn into a bad week, turn into a bad month, turn into a bad year. Like that is what it is about. It's about being conscious of how you feel. Where are you on that vibrational scale? Where are you sitting on that vibrational scale? So yeah, that's that's basically what Source has been really wanting me to um, put out there for a little while now. But today was when I uh, felt like was the best to sit down and kind of have this conversation. I'm hesitant sometimes to have these conversations because a lot of my followers are not that deep into spirituality. So when you start talking about the shift from 3D to 5D, they get confused and then people because of cognitive dissonance and it's something they don't know so like they immediately want to reject it. But it's to the point now where they're saying like you guys have to just say what's on your mind and if somebody thinks you're crazy they're just not ready for that information and that's okay. And that's part of their path and, and that is okay. So we need to really start working on ourselves, get rid of these old programs, and and be careful about judging. That's a huge program that a lot of people are still holding on to, even in the spiritual community. So um, I love you guys. If you want to check out any of my services, check out my website. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe. And have a great day.